If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe because I am on the road to 150 subs and I make NBA content like this 2K and live every single day. All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome yourselves back to another NBA Live 19 My Career Mode video. Now, you are currently looking at the brand new super team in the West. Yep. This I got Paul George onto the Blazers. And before I tell you, before I show you the Thunder, leave a like and subscribe if you're new. That is the Thunder team. Durant is back in OKC. Yep, Durant is back in OKC. Now, how I did this was, first of all, you're going to see gameplay. You're going to see it basically the end of pro post-game show against Cavs and OKC. It was just blowout. It was on all-star difficulty. Um, I got traded to... What did I do? Did I get traded to OKC or Portland? I think I got traded I got traded to Portland. Went traded to OKC for Paul George. And then got traded to Atlanta. So Kevin Durant would be on OKC. Paul George is already on Portland. So by the way, superstar difficulty of going up against the Warriors who only have Steph Curry. So yeah, I got traded to um Portland. Once I'm in Portland, I got traded to OKC, so Paul George would go to Portland. And then in OKC, I got traded to Atlanta, where Kevin Durant was. And god dang, the Nets are down by 14. Oh, 24. That's, tw no, that's 24. And I got traded to Atlanta, so Kevin Durant would be in OKC, and I got traded back to the Cavs. So I just wanted to make it a bit interesting. I wanted to make two more powerhouses in the West. Because the Thunder weren't doing great with Paul George and Russell Westbrook. They feel like, what, 4-4, 5-3, and three, something like that. Not as good as they could have been. And the Blazers weren't doing good either. They're like four and three. So yeah. My first game on Superstar Mode, I I don't know how to feel about it. I really don't. Because this game is a lot worse than Hall of Fame on 2K. Hall of Fame on 2K, I can blow out teams. Teams I'm supposed to win against and blow out, I can blow out easily. But this is just ridiculous. They had players like Rodney Hood and Draymond Effing Green hit contested threes all game long. It was actually insane. It was actually insane. It was a close game in the end. But it, it's like absolutely ridiculous how this works. Because they need to fix this AI. Like look at this. Contested threes are not that common in the NBA. They're not. Same thing with four point plays. No one, I mean no one, but James Harden gets fouled on a three-point attempt. Like, no one does. Colin Sexton was the only bright spark this game. Because other than my three-point shooting, I couldn't make anything. I could not make a contested layup for my effing life. And the CPU made it constantly. Like, look at this from Danny Green. How does that go in? You got, I'm a wing defender. I'm meant to defend. You got Colin Sexton on him. You got me on him. And he just makes it without ease. With, without ease. Or is it with these? I think it's with these. I'm just very stupid. I, and I just missed that contested layup. I'm a 97 overall 2K. All my ratings are basically in the 90s. And Sean Livingston's hitting contested mids. I understand he's a mid-range god. He can hit mid-ranges like that. But contested? No, it's not pop. No, we can't do that. It just doesn't happen. And then John Henson just gets swatted like that. It's actually... The thing with the layups, man... You can't switch in midair. You, you're stuck with one animation. Like, look at that. How does that miss? And then I get blocked. It's actually stupid. It's actually stupid. Start of the third, Rudy Gay actually did something that wasn't good. Because all game, he's been effing Kevin Durant. He's making everything when I'm on him. I'm 6 for 21. 3 for 10 from 3 point land. It's a 12 point game. It was a 20 plus point game at one point. But the bench actually did something. It's sad when the bench is better than the starters. Because the bench is what brought us back in this game. The bench kept us in this game. But boy, I'm, I'm going to have something with superstar difficulty. Because look at these shots, man. Look at them. I'm pulling up for three. It actually goes in. It's now an 11-point game. I am shooting like 7 for 25 at this point. It's bad. And that dude... Is benched for Thomas Hadaransky. The dude, J.R. Smith, is benched for Thomas Hadaransky. Why, live? Why? This is my last season with the Cavs. I might not even make it through the season if I'm playing on Superstar difficulty. Because in order to win on Superstar difficulty in this game, you need to have 
a very good player as your second option because Colin Sexton or Kevin Love, first of all, you're going to see, I'm going to rip Kevin Love's head off. You need someone who's like, I want to say 87 or above, 88 or above, maybe 90 above, as your second option or just on your team, period, to rely on because no one on this team is reliable. I'm the best player. The second best player is Kevin Love. He's like an 86, 87. I'm pulling up for another green. It's a one-point game. I was just rambling on. And look, fourth quarter, one-point game. This happens all the time. This legit. My first game on um, Hall of Fame against the Warriors in 2K, this happened. I got blown out in the first three quarters. Fourth quarter, I came back. But that game, I ended lost by 10 in 2K. I shouldn't have. But, you know, 2K kind of screwed me. It's all good now. But this 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 was different. First of all, he made okay. I thought he was gonna make that. I thought he made that shot. I'm driving in, and I missed. I missed. I seriously missed. It's all right though, cause Reggie effing Bullock is apparently better than me. I don't understand how that works. He can hit a th contested. No, I'm not complaining. We're up by two. We're up by two. But this this team, this effing team. This son of a gun, Steph Curry. You mother effer. You have to. I might get my ass traded to the Warriors. First of all, Rudy, yeah, that was my fault. I take full responsibility for leaving him open. I wasn't paying attention. But you mother effer, Steph Curry. Look at this! Yes, I know he can hit that in real life. I'm not complaining about that shot. But this is where I lost my mind. 18 seconds. We can win. Kevin Love's wide open. Reliable three point shooter. Bricked it! He bricked the effing shot. The game-winning shot, and we lost by two. We lost by two. I forgot who missed the free throw, but I think Steph Curry missed one free throw, and we lost. Just because Kevin Love couldn't hit a wide-open corner three. The easiest three to make in the NBA. Curry had 24. Rodney Hood had 20 on 70% shooting. I shot terrible. Colin actually did pretty decent. Kevin Love, you're a bump. We, we fell down to fifth. Yeah, it's all over. Leave a like if you enjoyed. So if you're new, I'm going to try and keep my composure for Superstar difficulty from now on. GG.